All right, just got off the water. Uh, had a morning with a buddy that uh, was not expected to be very productive. We were going out on a hot, it's supposed to be 95 degrees today and very sunny. Uh, we tried to get out early and we kind of got rewarded with some clouds. I didn't do a lot of explaining on what I was doing, so I'll be throwing in some small clips just to let you know my conditions and the bait choices we were going with. Oh, oh, oh. Where's she going? Just, just, just fight him real slow. Ooh, this was interesting. Try to keep him away from this anchor. There you go, perfect. Nice recognition, dude. It's a pretty good fish. <laughs> I thought you hooking up, hooking in for the big one. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> it's a good one, man. Oh, damn, this is fat. Hey, that's not that big. Oh, it's not? That's a nice one. That's not a huge one, though. <laughs> now what I do? Uh, you can go ahead and open the bale up. So open that. This thing? Yep. Got it. Oh, shit. We hooked him good. Oh, Sorry. it's bleeding. It's okay. We'll get the hook out for him. Yeah, that's a nice one, but not a big one. Actually, be a pretty good one to eat. Yeah, we're gonna let him go instead of getting a picture. He's bleeding pretty good. Yeah. We'll get a picture on the next one. And I guarantee he'll be fine. Those fish are so tough. Really? Yeah, they're really hardy. <laughs> Alright. Got a little bit of blood on it. Can't feel blood. <laughs> you can wash it off. Oh yeah. I get this. It's stuck. How'd that how'd that even happen? <laughs> yeah, I mean it doesn't matter at this point. You can do it. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, this one's old Lucky. Yeah, this is a good one. It's also my, my grandpappy's real. Oh, is it? Lucky dude, for sure. Yeah, I don't know how big he is. He's not that big. You might need this. I think, no, huh? I think it'll be okay. Should it? Yeah, he's not that big. Huh? It's a good one, not a great one. You can keep that one, right? Sorry, Jesse. Leaving you hanging with the anchor. Man, we got a mess. You want to drop it net? You can drop it down if you want to. Man, this is a pretty good one, man. I just need the net. It's on. Get him. There you go. That is a good one. That's good. But they get way bigger. Okay, let's just reel in all the poles before they get tangled up. <laughs> I can already see that happening. Just like that. Okay. Put this guy over here. Me, that's hard. Friends. <laughs> he doesn't know about my friends. Okay, pretty good one. Probably like a seven pounder, maybe. He's real fat. Maybe six, seven pounds. Alright, got a big old belly on him, too. It's thick. Let's drive it back in. That was awesome dude so that big fish was he was sitting on the slope uh, of a drop-off as it went down into the channel um, kind of not surprising that's where we had one pole that kept getting a lot of bites so uh, it seemed to be that was the spot to be in uh, and chicken breast was the main bait we used to catch him uh, we had a couple bites on the nightcrawler pole we had a nightcrawler out and two chicken chicken breast poles out but uh, chicken breast was hands down the way to go.
really like catfish this small because when they get big, there's this darkish red meat. When you cook it up, it becomes like a grayish, a grayish mushy kind of meat. So if you got anything over like, you know, two or three pounds, you want to just split it down the middle and run your knife over the top of that and just clear that top layer of red meat off. That's why I like keeping these smaller ones. Don't have to deal with it nearly as much. I'm gonna try not to try not to get the guts either. Okay. Fill it up about halfway. You don't need much seasoning as long as you pat your fish dry. If you, if you can dry your fish a little bit with a paper towel, you, you, the seasoning won't clump up and you'll use a lot less of it. Let's grab our fillets, which we had soaking in cold water. Just dry them off a little bit. They firmed up quite a bit just in the couple hours they were soaking. Lowry's, some Lowry's, salt, also lemon pepper, determine your spiciness right here is red cayenne pepper, pretty hot. I'm sure regular paprika is just as good. Fish are ready to go in. Play one filet, get it a little coated. Zip this up, pull it over, and start shaking. Okay, so once you see your oil starting to, well, it starts dimpling a little bit, you can see it, that's when you know it's hot enough. Um, you can also do a quick test of just pinching a little flour over the top of it, or a little of your seasoning, and uh, you get the same effect. As if it starts bubbling, it starts sizzling, then you know it's good to go. I'm gonna let them fry, just only take a few minutes to crispy them up. I didn't put quite enough oil in here, so I'm gonna have to flip these guys to get a, a nice even cooking. Looking good. Okay, just kind of deeper water over here. Yeah, a minute there, about a minute and a half, two minutes, and you're starting to get a nice hard crust on here. So, in another 30 seconds or so, and you're ready to pull them out. I would have kept more now. The only thing left is to turn it into a sandwich. You don't forget to put your seasonings on after they come out of the fryer to get them to stick on there real good. There you go, we got our fish sandwich. With some cheese, mayo, missing some vegetables, but. Still gonna be delicious.